What's up guys, it's your boy, back at you with another video, you get me? Um, it's been a minute, um, I haven't filmed for like two weeks maybe, but it's been for good reason, mainly because I've just been focusing, turning up to work, making money, putting this escape plan into action so that my future is secure. I'm basically just being hard at work guys, honestly this period of two weeks, <laughs> I've never worked this hard before, I feel like I've if I can keep this momentum up, there's no stopping, man, to be honest with you. But anyway, guys, for those of you unaware of what this channel is, it's basically my escape plan through eBay. I've tried once or twice before, but I've fallen flat on my face, basically. Um, my, my ultimate problem is I just I can't perform slave duties for a long period of time. If I have a job for more than three months, I kind of start crashing, getting lazy, calling in sick, all goes to shit. But I've been basically... Why is my... I'm on a mission to basically learn to become consistent in all realms. Um, mainly a full-time job. So I'm a bit scattered right now. Kids are screaming and my girlfriend just went to beat them. So basically, I'm just trying to become a better man. I'm trying to just adapt to working a slave job five days a week for as long as it takes. The reason I crash after about three months is because the the idea of being here forever scares the shit out of me. And um, obviously, some people, you can call it I'm spoiled, you can call it I'm lazy, you can call it whatever. Whatever it is, yeah, um, I ultimately end up lo leaving or losing the job or like self-sabotaging. But I'm over that. I'm on things. This eBay thing is easy to me. Going to work is very hard for me like mad anyway guys i've been to the car boot sale yesterday and today today i had my son's football so it was like a rush thing grabbed a couple things but today it was more i got like some collector's items some vintage stuff i don't know if i made a whole ton of money today but we're doing all right overall guys because i've been consistent i've been listing my store values come up i wouldn't say well average sale values come up with it my average sale value seems to have tanked a little bit this month i've not made too much this month but this month's been the first month i've made one or two bad buys i had like the easter week in work i didn't work so i basically got like one shift's worth of pay the week after that which was last week so it's been a bit of a madness this month but ultimately we're on track there's money in my ebay account i've made money it's not been the mess the best month so far what are we on the 28th so i've got like two three days left of the month am i gonna hit my goals i don't know because i've not actually looked i've not done my numbers aren't all up to date i've got this board here which is damn near full now with all my listings i listed i've hit all my listings goals up until two days ago yesterday i listed one and the two days before that i listed absolutely nothing but the rest of the month i listed five days five listings a day because that's my goal five listings a day um, 150 listings for the month 75 sales if i sell 50 percent of them which should if i make 15 pound profit average or 15 pound profit at least on each item that should leave me with 1125 profit 150 listings 75 sales 1125 profit at 15 pound average sale price my sale price has come down, so I don't know if I'm going to hit these goals. I don't know what's going on this month, basically, guys. I know I've made money. I know I've got some money in the bank. It's not been the most efficient, effective, or whatever month. But this month has worked, so it's exciting things. Next month has to be better than this month. Um, it can't stay like this. I'm, I'm very inefficient at the moment. Everything take, Everything's a bit of a mess. But ultimately, guys, we're just making money. It's fun at the minute, you get me. So I'm going to flip my camera around show you what I picked up today and yesterday. I might miss a couple items because I've actually processed some of it and put some of it away. But if I remember as I'm going through things, I'll show you what I got because I've got some fun stuff. Uh, my room's a bit of a mess at the minute. So I'm going to try not to show you over there in my little personal area because things be going on over there. But anyway, I'll show you what I got. So let's turn the camera on. Most of the stuff's down here on the floor because I haven't processed much, to be honest. Let's start with this. This I found for free. It was in the mud, so I scavenged the box from what someone else's scrap piles. The car boot, guys. Basically, at the end, everyone just ends up leaving scrap piles. I found this literally in the mud. It's a vintage train track thing. Whatever that is. 
Trix Twin Railway. Yeah, me made in England. It was free. I thought I'll grab all the pieces, shove them in a the box, auction it off 99p with shipping. See what happens. Today, I got these. This is probably my favourite find for today because one of them is going on my thing. It's basically 1994 Pizza Hut Star Trek cups. So they're vintage. And they're this. They're like little cups. Cool as hell. One's going on my shelf. One's missing the lid, the bottom one. So I'm going to keep that one for my shelf. At the minute, guys, I've got this little area going on down here. Get this plug out of here. Someone's ruining my setup with the plug. I've got this little tin going on down here. It's where my gerbil's living. Let me turn this light on. I'm not coming in my room messing with my settings. So this light's on. Yeah, man, it was pretty cool. Got my Burger King thing, my McDonald's Christmas cup, some of the mask thing and some other things. Looks a bit shit to be fair, but oh yeah, Michelin helmet. I can't sell helmets on eBay for some reason. Cause I don't know, it just won't let me sell helmets. So that's living there for now. Anyway guys, we got these vintage Star Trek cups. I've got this, whatever it is, Star Wars fucking ship with all these Star Wars people. I can't remember what he says it is. Some Star Wars toy set. I paid seven for that. But I got a bunch of stuff off this guy. Got this. It's like a Star Wars CD case for 50p. Got this vintage pencil case, which my son's trying to hustle me for. I got him another one, but it ain't got a vintage date on it, so he's not happy with it. So he's not happy with it. This one's 2003, so he wants this. But I said, if it's not worth nothing, you can have it. If it is worth a little something, you can't have it. Because I got him a Star Wars one, but he's not happy. So... I got this scale electric yesterday, paid seven quid for it. All the pieces are in there checked. Got this hi fi yesterday, I think, so a fiver. This, um, I ain't tested it yet. The people say it works, but some of these little fuckers are lying bastards, you get me? So we'll see with that. Got all these snooker cases for free. There's two there. Um, some here. Someone literally just left them all in the dirt, so I'm hoping we can make some money off them. Got a TV for a £10. It's got the remote with it. Been selling the shit out of TVs. If you guys have seen any of my other videos, we had some TVs up there. We got one left. So all those three TVs, have, well, two of the three have gone. Got one more here. Um, yesterday I got this Calvin Klein for 50p. Yeah, man. Sold. There's some other stuff I listed yesterday or well, process yesterday i got this for 50p brand new star trek kids top got this the grinch dr seuss t-shirt for 50p it's got like the grinch on the front door and unfold that now there might be some more stuff in here oh yeah i got a. Uh, I got this hat yesterday it's a ping hat yeah man, i like my hats i try not to get them if they're too like mash up but you know it's a cool hat like this they just catch my attention and the prices can be alright on eBay, but I don't have any luck selling hats, guys. I sell the odd one. Yeah, me. So I've got like a whole bunch of hats in here. This is like my slowest selling section. Some cool hats in there. Um, got that paper shredder yesterday for five items for a pound. So that cost me 20p. Works, tested, listed. Got another paper shredder today for a quid. Yesterday I got this for eight quid. I can't be asked getting it out right now. I won't pull it all out. Long story short, it's a full tattoo set, yeah. It's got two guns. It's got all the needles, all the transfer paper, all the ink. Um, I said I wouldn't pull it out, but I'm fucking pulling it out, on it. It's got So if anyone's interested in tattoo kits, hit me up. It's got all the ink and stuff in this one. But anyway, there's two tattoo guns here. It's got more stuff. I'm sure I've got to photograph this anyway. There's literally more in here. There's inks. All them inks. I paid eight quid for all that. I went on eBay. The cheapest tattoo kit complete I could find was like £60. So that was a no brainer. Got this clock today for myself. 50p 2005 Wallace and Gromit thing. I don't know if it works. A bit dirty. Needs cleaning. Should I go here? I haven't tested it yet. This is like my little collector's area. Well, this is a photograph area actually for little items. And then these games have all been listed. This is just a collector's shelf. I had some verse up there, but basically, guys, get this fucking door open. 
basically, I've got a little shelf up there which I've kind of rearranged to put my VHS. I got a new Transformers VHS the other yesterday. So, just reorganizing things a little bit, guys. We'll be moving house eventually, anyway, so I try not to put too much effort into the thing because we don't want to live here much longer. We got those few things, guys. I'm sure there's more. Um, I got this scare that I shipped the other day. I don't know if I showed that in the video. I don't think I did. So basically, um, what I've realised over these last few days, guys, is although I'm saying I'm everything seller at the minute, I'm not really an everything seller. I'm kind of buying everything, but the same things in repeat. So I've been buying scare electrics, paper shredders, hi-fi stereos. I never bought a tattoo gun before. So I'm kind of an everything seller. I'll pick up everything if I can make money on it, but I'm looking for the same things, if that makes sense things that have sold for me in the past um, I'm becoming more of a collector at the minute but that's just because my situation is improving and like there's no point me doing this for a job and not keeping one or two items for myself so <laughs> that's pretty much how I see it but anyway guys is that all I got I need to do more what sold videos just to bring you guys with me because unfortunately when the best stuff sells I just can't be asked to list and um my excuse in my head why I don't, no, it's not that I can't be asked to list, I can't be asked to film. My excuse in my head why I'm not filming is because I'm an eBayer, I'm not a YouTuber, but I need to do this YouTube stuff because it's going to, it's going to significantly benefit my eBaying and just having a bit of a following can't harm, can't harm what I'm doing really, so I need to get on this thing as well. But anyway guys, I appreciate everyone who's rolled through for today's video. I just wanted to check in to be honest, show you that I'm still out here working. Still have my job, still on track. Still trying to do everything I can to break free. Just mainly for myself and my immediate family. Secondarily for everyone who's watching, I can be a good role model. And also, just, it's like, what the fuck else are we here for if we're not working towards something? If it wasn't making a big eBay business, I'd be doing something else anyway. So it's like, we all should be doing something, working towards something. That's part of being a good person is having goals. You can't just be dormant in life and start talking about I'm this and that. You're actually nothing because you do nothing. You are what you do. If you do nothing, you're nothing, unfortunately. That's how I see it. So I appreciate everyone who's rolled through. If you're on a similar journey to me, let me know. If you've got similar goals, if you just want a brother from another mother to succeed with, on me man hit me up in the comments hit me but yeah we're gonna go now guys because i've got some listings to do I ain't done shit for like three days get me so i'm gonna try and do like five to ten listings today coming to the end of the month i'm about to do that update as well guys talking about how much i made that's gonna be a nervous one don't expect some miracle this month but we're definitely up get me i just wanted to quickly add one more clip in um i don't know if i did oh yeah we got this for six quid, basically a bunch of vintage, vintage um, pencil sharpeners, um, they're like metal, we've got a bunch of them, they're only worth sort of three to ten quid each, depending on the model, like this one was worth like six or seven quid, but some of the little more generic ones ain't worth that much, but I was going to bundle them all up on top of that guys, we found more today, yeah man. I got another bag here, I got all these for six quid as well and there's more and these ones are in better condition. Basically I let my son pick one, he got a globe. And I don't know if he wants to swap it because I got more. I might see if he wants to swap it because there's a couple duplicates and I don't want duplicates, I just want to bundle it all off. So basically my girlfriend got a cool one as well, she probably got the best one, it was like an oven. But anyway, I'm just going to auction, auction them off. I like to do auctions sometimes guys, with stuff like this. It's like I ain't got the time nor the patience nor does it fit my business model to separate little things like this out and sell them individually. It might fit someone's business model though. Someone who's just chilling out here, you get me, doing their thing. But my thing is get a good deal on this stuff, put it on eBay and do something a good bargain. I make a little bit, then you can go make a little bit. Um, it's not about one sale for me, it's about how much do I make at the end of the month. So this is part of my thing. So feel free to check out my store guys and look, it's a way to source, you can source from me. Get me. Don't know if it'd be the best sourcing method, but you can definitely source from my store. Yeah, so pretty much that's it for today's video guys. 
Um, again, I'll see you all in the next one. I appreciate everyone who's rolled through. I've had a few more subscribers this month, so it's getting it's getting exciting. Two hundred subscribers. Let's let's hit that goal. That's my goal. Yeah, man. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. And we out.